What's up guys, it's Cat Ross here, uh, East Island Aquatics, and I got a quick video, this is the 30 long downstairs, next to the 55, and I just made some changes that I just want to go over, still got the coolies, still rocking the coolies in there, still rocking the coolies, but, and the beta, and some, uh, plecos, but, the big thing is I got, a ton of guppies. So pretty much the guppies from the 10 gallon. Um, that one 10 gallon with all my assorted guppies are now down here. So I can use the 10 gallon for other things. I also got a rescape on that too that I'm going to be going over soon. So that's what's going on in this tank. I'll pretty much just go throughout. This is just a quick video just to show you. Um, I got an Indian almond leaf just helping out the guppies. Uh, lots of cover. Lots of fry. So the I'm gonna try and get a better light on this so I can start getting it planted. I'm using a phantom air pump, cobalt phantom air pump. I'll get that right here. So it can hide and just suction onto the the back. I'm using that to power the sponge filter over here. Since the intake of the cobalt EXT canister is all the way over here I figured I needed something over here so I just stuck that there and I'm using a neotherm cobalt heater as well and then fake plants all throughout and then some crypts over there so that's what's going on in here uh, tunnels and random stuff just for hiding for the guppies uh, Coolie loaches love this thing. There's a coolie in there right now. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know uh, what you think of this tank, what I should do, any ideas for above cover. A good how about a good T8 light that uh, would work on here. If you have a good idea, what's the best T8 aquarium light you know of? Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.